What's up, y'all? Welcome to a bonus edition of Technical Files, the sports podcast you never read. Uh, your boy T I M K I N Z, the number three, aka as Ketchum, aka Mr. Give it to Me, is here, but it's nighttime, so I can't be yelling like that. Shit. We, need all it. we always record at night. Anyway, I'm the Eric <laughs> Only known as the Eric and I'm Camille, point guard of the crew, the real life Tifa Lockhart, the girl next door. You know, holding it down for all the women who love sports. Ken ain't here. That probably shouldn't surprise y'all. Just we 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 doing bug stuff. He is in Atlanta. He is having a ball right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, we just watched our team lose uh game one of the NBA finals, 118 to 105. So we decided to come on here and talk about it because we couldn't wait a week. It's the finals. It's the first time our team has been in the finals in our lifetime. So we are putting out some content for you. <laughs> but yeah, Bucks Carter L. First, first thoughts. Mm. I just look good. Y'all just look good. Chris looked good. <laughs> At times. I was gonna say. In pits At and times. starts. Uh, I, I'll take him. He was looking better than. He looked good more often than he looked bad, even though it may be in that times. He looked better more often than not. That Drew, on the other hand, on offense. Yeah, it was a rough night for Drew. Uh, four for 14 from the field. 0 for 4 on, th- on threes. 10 What's points. The wa- it's it's oh. the decision-making. Like, you know, like too many, too many times, seven went for jumpers. Mm-hmm. Like never I'm trusting not his not drives, that. like his passes were kind of all over the place. But he had some good ones, but he also had some where I'm like, "What? What did you see there?" Like I'm, I don't know. There was yeah, a surprise. At least the- Bledsoe had the uh, the decency to be <laughs> bad all the time. Like <laughs> I at least knew what I was getting. Like now I'm just like, "Which Drew are we getting today?" Yeah, yeah, I got the the box score pulled up. Drew had nine assists, but he also had three turnovers. Nah, two to one ain't bad. Yeah, check your math. Was it three to one? There you go. There you go. Listen, it's nighttime, bro. We can't. We always record at nighttime. <laughs> nah, bro. It's nighttime. It's nighttime, nighttime. <laughs> it's it's, it's <laughs> evening when we record. This is nighttime. I think it's like we. This is bedtime. <laughs> like night, night. Pillows. Uh, but um, I did think it was since you got the box score up. I did think it was. Interesting that what three players shot free throws tonight on the books? Giannis, Giannis Brooke. and Drew. That is it. The Bucks had night. 16 free throws as a team. It's and Giannis crazy. Well, how, yeah, it's crazy how Chris Middleton can have the ball in his hand so much and never ever get fouled. 40 minutes. Nobody touched him. <laughs> Not nobody once. touched him. Meanwhile, <laughs> you breathe on book. Oh my god, bro! And the thing is, like, they do the same exact fucking thing on offense, like the same thing. And on one mm-hmm. side, foul, other side, you know, good defense. Like, just call oh it both god. ways. That's 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 the thing. Call that's it both it. ways. Call it both if, ways. If we could, if we got to sneeze on book to get a foul, man, let, they breathe on us, we get a foul too. Like, damn. Like right. the disparity on that was wild, I and mean, you can see it in the game, like. All right, and even at certain points, Giannis didn't even get fouls when he should have. They just kind of gave it to him when they could. <laughs> like it was like if it was blade as fuck, they gave it to him. But outside of that, it's like a lot of our obvious ass fouls. They just, just letting them go, and I'm like, all right, cool. If it's gonna be that way, because they have given us the Benny and has done that for us since the net series. Like we've been the more physical team, so they've been allowing us to play more physically. But if you go allow them to try to match our physicality, but then you go call whistles on us. That does not keep the playing field level. Our physicality is supposed to level whatever they have over that. Oh, no, on the other end as well. Like, you take that away from us when we can't do that. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Um, I actually don't feel terrible Ooh. after this loss. Uh, the free throw discrepancy between the two teams, the fact that the Bucks just missed fairly easy bunnies and legs oh, like God. it was so many it was it was so many um and given how good Giannis looked which I didn't expect uh I still feel good about this team going forward they got some things to clean up 
Chris Paul had himself a game. They did pretty <laughs> decent on Devin Booker outside of letting him hit that free throw line over and over, but that's all his points came from. Yeah, 10 for 10 from the free throw line. He was 8 for 21 from the field. It was <laughs> it was Aiden and, and Chris Paul that were really uh killing Damn, us from the field. I, I didn't even notice Aiden, to be quite honest. Like I feel like he got like garbage points. Yeah. And that's what it was. The he does his job. Mm-hmm. He does his job well. He rolls hard. <laughs> He's there for the oop. He's there for the, you know, for the pass off the pick and roll. He's going to be there to clean it up. Like, I like it. I, I, did, and, I like it. And that, that's where I think that, you know, everybody like, oh, you know, we got to go small. We got to go small. It's like, yeah, and Aiden is going to feast on the board. So, like, you have to figure out a way to keep Brooke on the court. Like, I know that the small ball worked to an extent in the fourth quarter, but First of all, you don't have the bodies to do that over 48 minutes. Mm-hmm. And second of all, like, Brooke helps you in so many other ways. Like, you have to find a way to at least survive on on defense. Like, it won't look pretty all the time. And, like, honestly, his defense on Paul and Booker were pretty good when they were doing switches. Like, they were as good as you can imagine. Yeah. They were about <laughs> as good as you can imagine, uh, as you can expect from Brooke Lopez. Um, but... You That's know, like, the they were just on. They were on. Like, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah. Like, it was one of those nights. And the shoot, like, Mikel Bridges was hitting, like, a little bit more than he has been in the playoffs. Drake, Jay Crowder didn't really give him anything. Cam Johnson was hitting. Thank God. <laughs> Campaign was hitting. So, you know, like, they, they had a good shooting night, it feels like. I didn't um, realize Campaign's left hand was that strong. It's beautiful. I was like, woo-wee. That form is not, though. No, the form no. ain't, but he get there. That, that's Draymond-esque. Like in the four, like backpack is definitely on his. <laughs> My man's gonna oh, hold turbo the whole game, bro. That man running nonstop. <laughs> that's a good lord. Campaign does not slow down at all. Yeah, but getting back to Brooke, like I don't think you, you know, don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. So like you, you can find like subtle tweaks to make and maybe figure out where you can send help from on their drives and like do a little bit more to disrupt Chris Paul specifically, but Paul and Booker from getting to their to their spots, like make it a little bit tougher. Um, uh, and maybe don't just concede the switch off top. <laughs> like maybe yeah, try to were, fight over it a little bit. <laughs> like there were a few times where I was like, that's not the switch you want. Like you don't want that yeah. one to happen. Like, like don't just were... <laughs> give it to them. Like I, and, exactly. and maybe there are exactly. basketball reasons for why they do, but I, like the Clippers did it a lot. Um, like I've seen it throughout these playoffs. I'm like, just, you know, like make them make you switch. Like don't just like, as soon as he comes up to set the screen, like, Oh, I got him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Over well, over I think one of the issues I had tonight too was Chris Paul literally was walking cast to his spot. That's On Chris Paul. Like, they're they're, they're I mean, afraid of getting bo- long him. pass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Work him in the foul. I was like, like bro, like he just slowly let me just walk little 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 crossover here and little crossover there. Oh, pull up mid round like damn, he he literally walks you to. I think I've seen it. He did it to Pat times at least like three times this game. Just was, literally was, walked. That was one of the switches I kept getting mad about. Like, please, mm-hmm. like, stop giving that one up. Like, mid or Drew has kept... to stick. <laughs> <laughs> he walked with him to the free throw line. I'm like, bro, you're giving him the free throw line. And see, that's the thing, because it was like they were playing the switch in the first half, and they were switching one through five, and Brooke was out there, and Brooke wasn't playing bad defense necessarily, but they were making the shots. So, but it was like, okay, let's let's throw a drop at him. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. That was not a good idea either because you got mid-range assassins over there and they were able to really easily walk into some shots. I saw Devin Booker just like dribble and then he kind of came back, went to the side, came back. And I said, okay, cool, comfy, bucket. Like, <laughs> it's like you don't want to give them the ones that are easy. Every bucket has to be tough. It's the same concept that we had with KD, but it's like you can't let good players get comfortable. You cannot do that. And then they went back to switch in with Bobby Portis out there and then they targeted Bobby Portis like, the Suns are a very well coached team. I, I have to say, like they are very well coached because what you whatever you throw at them, they are going to try to exploit it in some way. I mean, they also have like one of the greatest point guards of all time. So like, if it he helps a lot. <laughs> if he recognizes the weakness, like he's going right at it. Crazy, you know, novel concept, right? As, yeah. So as much as I love Chris Paul, one thing as a fan that you kind of try to forget about is that motherfucker is slightly dirty. <laughs> he just he does little shit and little mm. nuances that'll piss you off like that move that he did on Giannis I'm like bro that's oh you know what 
it's a foul. I, but that move really, mm, I ain't really care for that. Yeah, I really didn't. But foul is a foul. I, mean, I, I think that on his back. I think that's one of those things that they're trying to get out next year, like where you just stop and let somebody run up the back of you. Yeah, um, but we we aren't in next year yet, so. So it's a foul this year. Yeah. And I mean, like you also like as a defender have to be paying attention. Like Giannis was trying to go too fast. Yeah, there and there were some careless turnovers too. It it like it just wasn't a clean, a clean game. It wasn't clean. And if you want to feel better, like I uh, I feel like game ones throughout this playoff run have been I don't want to say fill out games, but like they've improved. Fill out game. Ga- <laughs> it's a fill out game, game two <laughs> against uh Brooklyn notwithstanding. Um like they've kind of figured things out from game one and made the necessary adjustments, which brings me to Bud. I feel like Bud needs to make an adjustment is a meme at this point because, like, people just be throwing it out when he's clearly oh making God. adjustments. Like, yes. people are like, oh, man, they kill him in the mid-range. Sure, it would be nice if Bud made some adjustments. It's like, he has. He like, he tried. Like, not every adjustment is going to work. Like you kind of got to try shit and, you know, maybe you tried two or three things and none of them work. And then you hit on the fourth thing. Like he should have tried the two, three things. Shit. You know, he tried everything else. I mean, the, the small ball thing was working like that, that kind of helped propel them back into the game. So like, I think that was one of those things where like we have a, a certain look here. I don't think that's something they should go to for a full game, especially mm-hmm. with Giannis uh, nursing that injured knee, but he knows now, at least he should. Like, this is a look in our toolbox that we know can work in certain bursts. He just has to find that right, mm-hmm. that right group and to be out there with him. Maybe it's based off the game, which role player gets that fifth spot. But, like, there's something there with that. And I don't think, like Eric was saying earlier, like, Brooke has a role in this in this series, too. So, like, I'm just interested to see in game two what changes he makes because they're, they're there. Like, this is – I think it's going to be a long series. I think it's going to be a very long series. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not used to being this invested into the playoff basketball this late into the season. <laughs> <laughs> Me, either. I gotta tell you, NBA Finals is a different level of stress. Like I was, like I was getting anxious leading up to the game. Like, and I know this is just game one, so I'm like, keep, keep cool. Like I'm, I'm pretty even killed, but like I was very, very nervous. So I can only imagine what it's gonna feel like as the games progress. Game, game one, I felt I was cool. I was like, yeah, you know, I would love for us to take them, but you know, if, if they take the if they win one of the first two at home, cool. If the home team wins the first two, that's expected. It's when we get to game three and four. Because uh, mm-hmm. we're so hot and cold. <laughs> like, even though they at home. And they we play the series, better at home, they so the hot and cold. the series to the, uh, to the road team get one. So, I'm hopeful in game two we can get one. Uh, yeah. And coming back to the original point, like, I feel like there were enough good things. Like, they were – Aside from that run in the third quarter, like they were oh, yeah. pretty much there with them the entire time. So, like, obviously, there were things that were working. You know, I don't know how much of it was replicable, but there were at least things that you can look at on tape and be like, okay, well, we were doing well when we were doing this, and we were exploiting this when we were doing this, or whatever it was. The one thing I will be will say is, like, the three pointers came back a little bit. Like, they were 16 oh, yeah. to 36, um, which Al will take because 44%. Yeah. Because the shooting has not been there from three in this uh, mm-hmm. in these playoffs. So and that's another thing. Like, Brooke was hitting. So yeah. you really yeah. have to find a way for him to survive defensively when he's giving you that much on offense. Yeah. Yeah, th- these teams were – yeah, if you look at the – just, like, the, the matchups, like, the, mm-hmm. the final numbers, like, these teams were so evenly matched uh, throughout this game. It's just – the despair, like the the free, free throw throws. experience, yeah, the free throws were were a killer. Plus, they were twenty five of twenty six from the free throw line, while the Bucks were nine of sixteen. Yep. Mm. Ten points. We beat them on the three pointers, about even field goals because they were cashing so many twos. <laughs> Assist about even, rebounds about even. Like it's turnovers. Bucks lost a turnover battle. That's another another thing there but that's probably why i also wasn't tripping about this game you know like it's just a it's, it's you do, it's up in the air for sure for sure with uh how it was going throughout the game i'm like because nobody really like phoenix did when the chris paul run kind of that's when they kind of took control like you were saying in the third quarter but mm-hmm. that shit was magical you know like yeah it was like shit. 
<laughs> I was talking to the uh, guys earlier. I was like, dude, Chris Paul, to me, is still a superstar. Like, he still has the ability to take over a game. Like, the way he's led this team and teams and shit like that. Like, his star has not faded. He may not be young Chris Paul no more, but old Chris Paul got the mindset now, and the game's still there. Like, the motherfuckers yeah. still be hooping. <laughs> yeah. If we can get Drew to be better. <laughs> I said it. I said it during the Atlanta series. If we can get all three of them on track at the same time, like they should. Sure. I ain't gonna say walk to a title, but yeah, they should. You know, the title should be theirs. So just gotta figure it out. And I, I, I don't know. I just don't get it because like they're worth. You know, the like Giannis wasn't after that first quarter. Like Giannis wasn't aggressive, aggressive. Like he wasn't like mm-hmm. you know ISOing as much as he has previously. So like there were places for Drew to kind of attack, you know, get into his own kind of rhythm and like whatever he got the ball, I feel like he was settling too much. Yeah, Speaking or of- when the shot was open, he wouldn't take it. Yep. Speaking of Giannis and his knee, like I did notice throughout the game there were different moments where he definitely took his foot off the gas. Oh yeah, he had to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll when I was seeing him doing that, I was like, okay, so we'll get back to about like eighty percent. Listen. He hey, jumped off. He, like <laughs> holding off. energy back. Like he, he's holding himself up. And he's like, okay, I'll, 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 I'll explode on this play, or I'll, okay, I'll put, I get my all on this play. But every now, the rest of it, he was guarding whoever was in the corner, and he, of course, of course, because he's the help defender. But at the same time, he still wasn't like giving, like running full speed every single play. He so, like that. so I was just trying to gauge to see how his knee was holding up for him. It looked like he ran like the way he was playing. Shit, you can say eight. Damn near. <laughs> like I said, oh. Um, on our show this week, I ain't going to sign no percentages yeah. <laughs> to how he playing. I just, I'm just looking at what he's doing. There were he definitely a few up. plays where I was like, he, he took like he took that one off, and I'm like, I'm not mad at him. Like he's out here <laughs> playing through a very painful injury. I'm sure. Uh, so hey, I'm party. like, that's I'm actually happy he's doing that and he's being smart because if he was younger, he might have just ran through the wall anyways and just <laughs> and, <laughs> Made it worse. and been out of here. So like I. I I've seen areas of growth where Giannis like that. Like there was even a play where he was bringing the ball up and he didn't have nothing. And he just brought it back out. And he's like, I'll just wait. I'll wait for everybody to get back up here. And I was like, when he was younger, <laughs> he would have just ran at these dudes and it would have been a turnover. But like, yeah, man, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. And yes, that Giannis block was beautiful. What a beautiful block. Gorgeous. lebron Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Seeing those two made me realize, I was like, you know what? The chase down block is one of my favorite, like, plays, my favorite things in basketball. Like, something like you got dunks, you got the threes, you got the crossovers. But, like, a chase down block, mm-hmm. the, the timing that is required <laughs> and the That's embarrassment you give to your opponent <laughs> <laughs> from catching up. Throwing a shot off the backboard. Opposite <laughs> direction, like, come on, bro. <laughs> And it, it, yeah, it's funny because like you you see him like coming across like oh shit they got him <laughs> like it's LeBron it's basically it's LeBron and Giannis like those are those are your two um, yeah. but it's like you know that the the person going in to score doesn't see him at all and you're it's just like, like wait till wait till you see what's about to happen it's like Jaws and like you start hearing the music from Jaws <laughs> like da-da, 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 da-da. <laughs> as soon as they come up but yeah. I feel good still about – I mean, I'm happy our team's in the finals, and I'm happy mm-hmm. that Giannis is healthy and playing. Um, Chris Middleton played 45 minutes tonight. Not a single foul. He didn't get hit one time. <laughs> Just skated through the whole damn game. I did have a friend he- text me. I'm a, I'm, this, this is a friend's thoughts. I think the refs were bad, but I had my guy text me, and he said – Camille, do the NBA not F with us? I'm legitimately asking because I don't think I've ever seen a more cited, officiated situation like tonight. Do people not want Milwaukee to prosper, fam? Like, what's going on? I mean, they could want CP3 to get his ring. Look, it was a discrepancy for sure, but the Bucks (laughs) had chances to win this game. Uh, Yeah. Regardless. Like, this is where... And like Bud just refuses to do it. And like we're doing this during the post-game press conferences. So maybe he actually will since it's the finals. But like this is where you pull a Steve Nash and you, you know, you put a little pressure on the refs for the next game. And like do it without, I mean, it's his money. Don't I don't fine. care if he get fined or not. But <laughs> you know, try I to do it without getting fined. Right. I got five on the book. But like, you know, defend your players. Like point out 
what we pointed out, you know, Chris Middleton played 45 minutes, didn't get fouled one time. Like, you tell me, like, as much as he had the ball on his hand, like, he not once, and then point out the free throw, free throw discrepancy. Like, there are ways to kind of apply pressure and to kind of set, you know, like the expectation going into game two. Mm-hmm. And, like, you just got to play the game. So, oh, I got one more thought. When you mm-hmm. said free throws, it reminded me of it. Uh, the crowd. It seemed like midway through the game that Giannis just decided to like speed up just a hair. Like he was like, okay, when they get to when they Two get to ten, ten. <laughs> when they get to ten, I should be letting this go. Like it was like he was using the crowd's rhythm to help himself get into rhythm, which was interesting to see. And it helped him. It did. Mm-hmm. He finished the game seven for twelve, which for Giannis is pretty good. Good enough. Pretty um, good. Yeah, I, I noticed. Like if he's lean back, like it's a miss. But if he stays erect, like Boss. when he lets go, <laughs> if he <laughs> if he stands up straight, <laughs> like as he's releasing the ball, like it it's usually pretty cash. So, I mean, I'm not a shooting coach, but that seems like a very simple hey, fix that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure like everybody's told him. Like he probably had like a million things going through his head when he's shooting a free throw. So maybe less is more. But thank you too much. <laughs> I said like, you don't need 10 seconds you really thinking too much hey hey we'll man see. keep counting like I like it yeah <laughs> like, it, like it, it, it worked it don't it don't seem to phase me too much but yeah game two is Thursday night 8 p.m back on ABC back at it again do y'all think we win that. do y'all think we win game two I do it's winnable I like that I, head sir yeah, Tim, Tim right calling now. it by by you. That was that was a perfect way to word it. Win a bowl is, is perfect. Uh, Tim just went all out because that's that's, yep. that's what that's Tim gonna do. He gonna tell all you. All gas, no breaks. Yeah, he gonna, yep. he think it's a win. Cut the motherfucking breaks. It's a very one. I I was gonna kind of hedge myself. What I was going to say was gonna be weak uh, out here. Listen, <laughs> you told me to believe in this Bucks team. You told me it's time to stop playing around. For yeah, sure. They have showed me something in them, right? If this team is who I think they are, game two, they come up with a dub. Sneak sneak one early. If you can sneak one early, put yourself in a good position to be able to win this series. So let's get game two, get back to Milwaukee, hold home court. Realistic, they might split. Let's, let's be honest. Like they might split at home, but like we got to uh, get- <laughs> You just said like you got to believe in this team. So you, all gas, no breaks. If believe- I think it's going, I think it's going seven though. So like we going, it's, it's <laughs> I'm just trying to get on the board early. That's all I'm saying. Just get on the board early. I'd rather get on now <laughs> than go into game three in Milwaukee and the Suns are up 2-0. Down 2-0, yeah. You know what I mean? Or right, yeah, like I just get on the board because it's going to be a long series. It's going to be a long series. But yeah, sure. any other closing thoughts before we get out of here? It's way past my bedtime. <laughs> no, good luck in game two. I really wasn't sweating game one. It was more so like like you said, it was a quote unquote filler game, fill them out game, just kind of see, you know, what they're working with and shit. So I kind of took that approach too with the game. So I really wasn't sweating too much to kind of see how they come out swinging, how the Bucks should respond and shit like that. So mm-hmm. on the game too. For sure, for sure. Eric, you got anything else you want to get off your chest? Uh Drew be better. No more Bobby on the road minutes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> find a way to survive with Brooke. Uh, Giannis just keep getting healthy. Chris, I'm fine with you. You know, just you shoot did what you did. You you yeah. you were Chris Middleton, so uh, you know, gotta take the good with the bad. But it just didn't fall tonight. Yeah. Um, and Suns will regress to me a little bit. So keep chopping wood, and they'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. I don't have anything else to add. But if you want to follow me on social media, you can catch me. Wait a minute. On the Twitter and Instagram at Camille Monet, C A M I L L E M O N A E, because. The moment spins. Thank you, Fake Ken. Devil on the No. Bucks better on Twitter. That's all you get. Yeah. <laughs> you almost got more than that. Uh, <laughs> Hello. It is your boy, T I M K I N Z, the number three, A K A S Catch, A K A Mr. Give It To Me. Good night, y'all. We'll holler at y'all on another one. For sure, for sure. Peace out, y'all.